What's up, Africa, ladies and gentlemen? How are you all doing today? My guest for today is the one and the only, Banky W. Look at where he is coming in from. Look at where he's coming in from. That's Banky W. And what you see green behind me, a tricycle. Banky W in the Marwa. Who believes Banky W can actually be in the Marwa? I'm going to walk up to him right now. Just come with me. I've got the one and only. The one and only Banky W. How are you doing today? We're causing traffic on the Yeah, we're causing traffic. Today has been fantastic. It's a hot day, man. Banky, how are you doing today? I'm great. Hot as hell. You don't sweat small. Don't worry, That's forget. How far, how far? How are you doing with Banky W on the streets? Yeah. I'm like, guys, today promises to be fantastic. Thanks for coming around. No today. doubt, no doubt. Thank you. All right, Banky, so let me just take it back. Let's take it back. Let's just have a little chat right here. Yeah, what's up? I remembered when you came into the into the Nigerian market. We met at this school that time. You yeah, yeah, you were still in school. I was still in school. Yeah, big man. I, I, no, no, I, I, was, I was in school, you understand? Yeah. What prompted you coming into the Nigerian market? Uh, what prompted me coming? I don't know. I just, I, I, I think I felt like this is where I was meant to be. Like, okay. you know, like, I, at the time I was living in the States and I had kind right. of met LD and he really inspired me. To, on how to kind of enjoy my Nigerianness and my music. Because okay. until I met him, I didn't really know how to do that. And then, you know, crossing paths with people like Two Face and yeah. people like that. So I just felt like this is where my calling was. Mm. And, you know, at some point I just decided to take the leap. And now here we are. Here we are. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Because when Lagos fight, we don't. Okay, it's been fantastic. You've 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 killed it. You've, Thank you've God. done Thank the best. We've done you know, all right. We've done came all up right. with uh, Empire Mate Entertainment, yeah. you and everybody. What what inspired that? You trying to come up with a music record label and trying to see how do you even first of all know, know that okay, Whiskey was going to be the next big thing. Um, well, I mean, uh, first of all, the people that I study are people that have built have built platforms. Right. You understand, like people yeah. that. Who just didn't come like you know the Jay Z's of the world, the P Diddy's of the world, the Dr. Dre's of the world. People who had the talent for music, but then they were able to create a platform to help other people make their dreams come true. So that was always the goal for me. It was just to become alpha, just to become successful enough, you know, to set something up where other people yeah. could come on and you know we could build a real empire out of it. And and that's really what it was. And so for Wiz and then Scales and now Shady and Niola and DJ Exclusive. They're just people that I feel very strongly about their talent yeah, and about their charisma and about, you know, who they are. And I feel, yeah. you know, I only sign people that I'm a fan of. So if I meet somebody and I become a fan of who they are and what they can do, then yeah. I try to share that with oh, yeah. the world. Yeah, I'm cool under pressure, cold ice in my veins. I got the right to eat like a licensed plate. Bank of w has become a brand, you know, back then you started. Yeah, it's a small brand, we're trying. No scope me, with all endorsements, I will all see around. We thank God. A fantastic way to go. be the glory. So you had um, a whole lot going on for you as an artist, from albums to singles. Talk about your latest single. Oh yeah, High Notes. High Notes. New single, produced by the legendary Kobams Asukwo. I heard that. You know what I mean? Yeah, the they legendary one. My Calabar brother, you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> Are you from Calabar too? I, my mother's from Calabar. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know we're strong, you understand? I heard uh, that. Do that uh, again. Well, what? <laughs> <laughs> And then, uh, oh, and then I directed the video, so the video has done very well. Thank you to Hip TV for playing that, by the way. Okay. Uh, it's done very, very well, and right now I'm gearing up to release two songs. All right. One of which is a duet with Chidima. Oh, oh okay. beautiful... everybody's crush. Yeah, yeah, yeah she's Chidima awesome. is your crush too, Abby. You know what, I think she just might be, actually. You know, she's, she's really cute and no, really No, actually moved from Flavor. amazing talent, you know, so <laughs> stop distracting me. I'm trying to promote our new song. Uh, so shout out to Chinema. So we have a All new right. song coming out that I'm very excited about. All right. Uh, and then I have another single coming alongside that. So I'm just I'm in a, I'm in music mode. So I'm, I'm dropping a lot of music and directing some videos.
Okay, good. So I, 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 would, I would actually think that Banky W traveled out to study uh, video directing and yeah. all. And directing, would, really. Directing, not, not, okay, not and he would just come back and uh, become, uh, how would I put it right now, a film director, right. or start shooting movies. Right. You understand? I see Banky W becoming an actor in different kind of movies. Right. What happened? Well, uh, you know, I have been directing videos, so I've done High Notes video, Neola's video for Go On, Shady's video for Carry Big Load, Big Mo's video yeah. uh, for Balling since 1990, and I did a TV commercial, the, the recent, since we're on DSTV, I did DSTV's latest uh, TV commercial okay. for their Simply Compact Bouquet. So, but my, my, my thing is with directing, I don't want to, um, I don't want to jump the gun. So I do want to do movies. But I feel like, you know, I can't just take one class and say, oh yes, now I'm the best film director. Because that's, anytime I put my mind to something and my hand to something, I want to be the best at it. Okay. So if I'm going to do movies, it's got to be like the best, one of the best movies that you've seen out of the continent. So that's my goal. Okay. So with that, you know, I got to work my way up, build my portfolio with the videos, TV commercials, probably take a couple more classes to make sure that I feel the way that I know that I want to feel about it. Wow. And trust me, I will be doing that. And when I do a movie, you know it's going to be dope. <laughs> I, I look forward to your it's movie. It's going to be dope. <laughs> trust me. Yeah, you become the one old seven in the movie like Hey, me. listen, yeah. man. Don't worry about it. Just trust me. Like when I, you, I mean, people, have seen, it up you. people have seen the quality of videos that I've done over the years. Okay. Hopefully they, they agree that, you know, I've put my best foot forward with that. All right. So you know that when I decide to, when I'm ready to do my first movie, it's gonna be dope. By the grace of God. By the grace of God Almighty. Just like the blood running through my veins. And like a drug, I need you right away. So let me get inside, let me inside the place. Please don't make me wait so I can make you go. <laughs> it's coming soon. All right, good. Okay. It's coming soon. All right, a lot, a lot is happening in the movie industry right now. Oh, yeah. sorry, in the music industry. You put the movie industry in my head right now. Sorry. A lot is happening in the music industry. We've got a whole new set of guys who actually did fantastic well. Mm -hmm. Who would you say is actually caught you fancy at the moment? Um, new guys, well, I mean, I got to give props to Shady, you know, most incredible voice, you know. But Aside love from my yeah. camp. Yeah. <laughs> um, the new guys, I really love what Chris Daniel is doing. I'm a big Chris Daniels fan. I think he's really absolutely dope. Fantastic. I love Lil Kesh. Actually, the whole YBNL movement is really, yeah. really dope. Doing good. Um, Chris Daniels, Lil Kesh, who else is out there? I, I can't remember. The lot of guys just Corey DeBello. Corey DeBello. They're actually, you know, there's Ricardo I'm, Bang. I'm not worried about Nigeria, Nigerian music, the in future. terms of the talent. Okay. Because these young boys are coming in and they're killing it. They're absolutely slaying it. Right. Chris Daniels, Lil Kesh, Corey DeBello, Ricardo. All of them cats, man, they're, they're all really, really dope. And, I, and I'm a fan of what they're doing, and you know, I'm here to support them. You're here to support you them. You know what I mean? You're here to support them. All day. Okay, um, I'm going to ask you this right now. For uh, Hip TV, look at your fans telling you. My I'll boys, pass. my boys, here we are. Oh, boys. <laughs> this is what happens on the street. Oh, I'm going to some niggas. I'm going to go for some niggas. Make me finish now. Make me finish. Ah, hey, hey, you. Fire valley, fire valley, fire valley. Wait, wait, wait. Look, I'm talking over here. Go ahead. So you can actually do like this. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Calm down. Calm down. They know me now. All right, so we've got a whole lot of programs on YouTube. I know you watch YouTube a lot. I know you yeah. see different of our programs, exclusive interview, well, next rated street, street hop, yeah. lyrics to go, top notch, next rated, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Which is your favorite out of them all? My favorite, my favorite program on YouTube. Yeah. Ah, that's tough. Um, I'll say two. All right. One is the one that you show the videos and you actually show the lyrics. That's lyrics to go. Lyrics to go. Lyrics uh, to go is probably my favorite because I'm somebody that pays attention to writing. Okay. So when I'm writing a song, like the lyrics and the wordplay and all of that is very important to me. Like I come from the Jay-Z school of writing where it's like you, you put double meaning, you put double meanings, yeah, you, you know, link intricate rhyme schemes. People don't get it. realize like how much thought I put into the, the, the even, if it's, the even if I'm singing, I get it. if you pay attention to the lyricism of it, I put a lot into that and right. it's a little bit frustrating when you put it out and people don't even know what, what you're, you're singing. talking about <laughs> or they start trying to sing it and they're singing the wrong and I'm like, well, that's not what I said. So I like that, that show because you get to show people what the actual lyrics are. Okay. So I like, I really like that show. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, because I'm on the street right now, okay. my second favorite is on the street because we're on the streets, homie. Straight to the TV. <laughs>
Fantastic word. Yeah. And that's all. Luke's oh, and then and then the, um, the radio show on TV. That's Street Hop, Andrew. Street Hop. Street Hop. Street Hop. With, with Vic. Uh, Vic. With Vic. Shout out to Vic. Shout she? out to Vic. Miss Vic. That's a <laughs> dope show. Word. Okay, That's so, a dope show. Um, are you on the show? I'll see you. Your smooth promotions people. My boy. Oh, wow. That's my boss. Well, 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 well. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's behind the headers, behind the street hop. Yeah. Andrew behind Hip TV, behind yeah. Hip Hop Magazine. What can you say about his person? Um, I what I can say. I mean, what can't I say about Ayo? I think. Ayo is like probably one of my biggest inspirations in terms of being a businessman right. in entertainment and in media in Nigeria. He's always at the forefront of everything. He's a visionary, somebody that sees it before it happens and sets up shop before anybody knows what's going on. So I, I mean, I have the utmost respect for him, the utmost love for him. I actually met uh, Mr. Ayo when I was living in the States and he interviewed me. Okay. Because we were at the same show at an after party and I had performed and he was like, oh, this is really good. So he says, oh, you know what, let me interview you. I didn't even know how big hip hop was and hip TV Nigeria. was at the time. But he says, let me interview you. And then he pulls out his watch and records me on his watch. This was probably, I don't know, nine years ago. Wow. He records his interview on, on his, his watch. watch. <laughs> so when I saw that, I was like, oh, I don't even know who this guy is, but right. this guy is awesome. <laughs> okay. And I mean, from that day, the first day that I met him till now, he's been, he's been an inspiration to me. Like, Fantastic. you know, from the award shows to the magazine, right. to the television station. The Empire Mate. You, you know that magazine, yeah? Huh? <laughs> that magazine where you all went. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know, so, so big ups to him. Big ups to Mr. Ayo. He's, he's a visionary. He's my egg boy. Like, I really look up to him. You higher, you're so hot, baby. You're blazing, and I like playing with fire. You could tell me your desires, anything you require. I won't make your body talk, I make it sing like sin a choir. We're working, man. We're working. Hear me, man. We're still here. You can't get rid of us, man. We're not going nowhere. <laughs> that, you know, it brings me back, it brings me back to um, DJ Exclusive. Yeah. He seems to be like the very first artist. The greatest. Who, 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 like, DJ Exclusive, the greatest. Sorry. The, the superstar. You know what I mean? Superstar DJ, DJ Exclusive. exclusive. Yeah. You forgot to put that. So, superstar now, DJ he, he will tell you, like, he's the first artist to get signed to that label. Like, like he is the first DJ. DJ, rather. Yeah. Who got signed to record? What, what, what did you see in him? Obviously, when he told me the story, he was like, okay, which kid was like, okay, um, he could be the official yeah. DJ. But yeah. he was like, you know what? I want to be signed on label. Yeah. So, what did he uh, say? Inside? Exclusive is just, exclusive is probably one of the hardest working people that I know. Exclusive is actually a true born hustler. Like, if you look up hustler in the, in the dictionary, yeah. hustler and hard worker, that's what exclusive is. Right. So, he's somebody that doesn't take no for an answer. He's somebody that has a lot of. Hell of a lot of drive, somebody that's very determined. Okay. And and aside from that, he's actually ridiculously talented at being a DJ. So, you know, when you look at him, if it's just if it comes to being a DJ, right? If exclusive DJ is your party, it's the best party that you can get on the continent, period. Like right. his mastery of how to rock a party and how to DJ and how to be a DJ is second to none. Okay. And then when you get aside that you know just somebody who has that business sense and that drive and that hard-working spirit I mean when you those are the things that I look for it's like talent hard work hustle drive determination uniqueness being one of a kind and he checks all of that a million times over so you know he started off as being Wizzy's DJ and then I was just like you know what this guy is more than a DJ it's not just about coming and playing for an artist when he's performing this guy should have an album. And when we look outside of the country, we see the David Guettas, we see the Punk Master Flex, we see the yeah. DJ Clues. Yeah, they've they all had awesome. albums, they're all personalities in their own right. They both shows, yeah. and that's what exclusive is. So I was like, okay, let's do this together and let's let's build that brand so that okay. it's not just coming on shows to back up artists okay. and to play, but it's to be everything that you're meant to be. Oh, and I'm well. very proud of him. You know, we dropped this album. We just listen for Incredi Incredible album. And by you the way, he just got married too, so. He just got married. <laughs> he just got married. So you know what I mean? So congratulations. And that's it. You know? Married man DJ. You know? <laughs> He's remaining me. <clears throat> when I get married? Last man standing. When, no, don't, wait, worry, wait, don't, don't worry. Don't rush it. Don't rush it. Don't worry. Don't wait worry. now. Guys, I, I know this question you guys want to hear. When don't is Banky Dobby getting married? I'm lit.
whisk it out, scales out. I know the relationship is good, everybody. Yeah, everything What's is great. the relationship like right now? You know, this is the same fact, okay? The relationship Careful is great. You just fantastic. said it. The relationship is great. I, I, I know. We see it out on Instagram. No, no, I need to talk to you. I know Instagram. Love fictions are the happening. Relationships that. are great. What's happening? Scale's now doing well with all the people. And yeah. All. yeah. Okay. Everything is good, man. I'm very proud of those two boys. Okay. I'm proud of the part I played in their lives. And fantastic. I'm very proud of what they've become. And and one thing that I, I pray for yeah. is that anybody who meets me and works with me, Okay. By the time they're done, they do better than when I found them. Okay. And that's it. That's, that's all I pray for. And they're doing great, so I feel Fantastic. very great. All right. Thank you so right. much, Banky W. It's been a wonderful time, guys, hanging out with Banky W My right man. here in the street. Thank you so much for coming. All right. Look. You can follow him on uh, Instagram, Banky Wellington. Banky Wellington. Snapchat, Banky Wellington. Twitter, Twitter, Banky W. All right, guys. Follow Hip TV, the official Hip TV. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, at VJFEMI. And until next time, I see you. Don't go away. Peace and love. Yes, up. Shooting Murawa, to reach up a pair of sea sherry, and let me love my last.